What we're talking about last week, I'm going to show you something here. Last week, mm -hmm. the reason why we really need these things. Last week, remember, we we're talking about Esau yes. and Jacob. Mm -hmm. Jacob being uh, the one who put the yoke on Esau. On Esau, Esau yeah. being the man of color. Now, I want to show you something. There is something that is done by Jacob mm -hmm. to Esau. Mm -hmm. Esau brings in the meat. He's the hunter. Today, we need to talk about the pot of shoe that bow of shoe <laughs> that bow i'm telling you that bow if if i could see it i'm gonna kick it yeah true <laughs> so the bow of shoe is put on the side knowing one day this boy will come in and i will trade the bow of shoe for his birthright mm -hmm. right i hope you're hearing what i'm saying mm -hmm. now i want you to see something Esau comes in from the field is very hungry there's a deficit in his in his stomach yes true so the deficit or the hunger causes him to be desperate yes so he has no choice but to borrow from jacob <laughs> but the meat that is borrowing from jacob he's the one who brought it in the first place the one who hunted it. do you know they are what i call jacob nations in this world okay yes powerful nations yes true they came together Put money together mm -hmm. they created a bow of shoe yes which you now call imf <laughs> which you call world bank <laughs> that's where the africans run to so when we are in a deficit like yes. isa yes yeah. we run to the to imf I, I don't know if you're hearing what i'm saying should i go on should i should i should i, should I go deep on this one go deeper <laughs> so yeah. how does how is the deficit or the hunger created this is what happens there is what they call the balance of payment in, e in economics yeah the balance of payment this is uh the difference in 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 money that is flowing into a country and money that is going out of a country That's true. so it is determined by export and import, and import yeah. but now a deficit is created when there is more import than export, export. The more you import instead of exporting yes. you create a deficit you create a hunger like yeah, Esau. yes yeah so this is where the challenge comes and you are now desperate because of the deficit you've created uh -huh. what do you do you go to the pot of shoe you go to borrow. but what is in the pot of shoe it came from you yes. because you are the ones who are buying mercedes-benz from germany you are the ones who are buying clothes from america yeah so the money that you are taking to their countries they put them they put that money in a pot of shoe you come and borrow but you don't borrow from imf or world bank for nothing mm. in fact i was seeing this interview this guy from imf mm. he said imf is not a donor what, what do you call it yeah it's a, it's it's not a, a donor company it's not a, it's a business it's a business because someone was asking them why are you giving africa all these they're not being charitable why don't you just give them for free they yeah. said no we are a business <laughs> But my question is how come for an example a country goes to borrow money from imf mm. right mm. they borrow the money how come i've borrowed and i've not yet finished paying if i go back they give me again what but, kind of a credit yeah, is that yeah, that's I, true. I, I don't that know if you're what i'm saying sense, yeah. do you know why they do that mm -hmm. they understand the proverbs 22 verse 7 mm -hmm. which says the borrower yes is servant to the lender to so the to lender. them which is to, to them the thing which is important is not you borrowing it is you becoming a servant as your borrow they will enslave you because of that money so because you are now a slave you have no choice but to give them your birthright what is your birthright your birthright that is what god gave you yes. it's your right it belongs to you for an example your land yes your minerals yes yes, yes. your people your culture yes yes true so what they do is when they give you that money they are now after your birthright that's why they are now able to come and buy things for cheap here yeah. They take our, our, our raw materials to their countries. Mm -hmm. They make cheap things, then they come and sell them to us. To continue to impoverish Africa. Because they are now taking our birthright. You will find in Africa you can have someone from China, India, America mm -hmm. owning buildings, a chain of buildings. This is it. How come? They are now taking your birthright. Eish. They can also take your culture. Because it's your birthright. Yes. Why? You have no choice but to give them. <laughs> because you owe them. You are a servant. That's why now they can tell you uh, in your countries make sure men men are allowed to marry men make sure women are allowed to win now they're taking your birthright yeah that's true that's true 
So our desperation, our desperation is African people. Our desperation. Our desperation. And the, you know, there's no need for us to be desperate. Esau, there's no need for you to be desperate. Because this shoe, you are the one who brought this it. This is it. And I want to ask you a question. Each and every piece of meat, you're the one who brought it. Mm -hmm. If we are borrowing from this pot of shoe, which came from a deer that Esau caught in the field, this is just a pot. How much is left this side? Yeah. How much was eaten by Esau? Aish. He didn't hear that. Aish. How Aish. much was <laughs> eaten by Esau to a level where he had nothing? I, I, want to, I want to say this, and this is really important. One of the worst cultures that Africa has is the, com, you know, the consumption culture. That's our problem. You see? Everything that you, That's you, you get, greatest. you want to eat it. <laughs> That's the greatest challenge that we, which means you want to finish it. Which means the meat which was eaten by Esau is bigger. It's plenty than the one that is borrowing. That that is borrowing. From. Those billions we are borrowing from IMF, they can it's never be compared to, compared to what to we the money that we have spent Eish. on useless things. Yeah, true. You hear what I'm saying? Are you <laughs> on fleshy lives <laughs> on on things that that uh, will not give us uh, or any of our future generations? Yes. Uh, impetus, power, uh, energy, vibration. You can no, you can uh, no longer invest in positive. education, is, health system. You can't. For an example, the, the health you see, the system does not work. See, the education system see, does does not work. The banking system does not work because all of it has been consumed. You see, it's been eaten. The up. challenge that Esau has when he gets a meat from the forest, or a, when he gets something from the forest, mm -hmm. he does not save. Because if he was saving, he was going to create his own IMF. And he would have made business <laughs> you see, from Jacob. You know, by because now... Jacob had nothing in the beginning. By now, Southern Africa should be having their own IMF. Yes. And we should be lending to, to the them. other. You, you hear yeah. what I'm saying? But we can't do that because we don't save. If I tell you, right now we are in a crisis. Coronavirus. <laughs> I, 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 Isa is coming from the field. He's in a crisis. Yeah, yeah. He's angry. That's a crisis. <laughs> but because you didn't save, you have to borrow. You have to borrow. We are in a crisis. Do you know that right now there are about 20 mm -hmm. sub-Saharan countries that have applied to borrow 16 billion US Aish. dollars from Miami. Aish. And it has been approved. But I want you to know something. That money is not coming for nothing. They want the birthright. And that money is going to be very expensive. Not just for us, but for our future generations. Mr. Matthias, if I tell you 10 power countries in Africa, South Africa included, Nigeria, yeah. Morocco. Yeah. Do you know how much they owe in debt? Mm. Just 10. Mm -hmm. And these are power countries that we admire. We think that they're the ones that are doing it. Do you know how much they owe in debt to IMF, World Bank, or China? How much? How much? 569 billion. Aish. These are the power countries. What about the small ones? Why am I saying this? Someone who asks, why are you saying this, man of God? Why, why are you saying this? To show you how much the world, to show you how much mm. Africa needs Christ. Yeah. When I say Christ, I'm not talking about religious Christ. Mm, yeah. Where people stand on pulpit and they're jumping yes, around yes, and yes, making yes, noise. Yes, yes, I'm yes. talking about a mindset, the mindset of Christ, which lifts our thinking from lower thought. All these things they are caused by lower thought. Yeah, true. Because someone who say you are not preaching Christ, I know how people will react. You should stick to preaching Christ. Preaching Christ. Men of God, uh, what, why are you talking about this? No. Things? Why are you talking about money? Christ why has to be relevant to what is happening in the yes. world. Why are you talking about uh, the things that happened in the no. past? No. We should preach Christ in relevance to what is happening to our world. Christ should be the answer to our governments. He should be an answer to our, our universities, to our health system. Because Christ is not a spirit. Christ is not a some smoke like what we think christ is the way of thinking so i'm saying we should introduce this way of thinking into africans christ is knowledge remember christ is the word what is word yeah. information. information so christ is information and this is the information that africa yes that's what i'm talking about for africa to be free this is what is called preaching christ yes. preaching christ is not mentioning his name in a sermon <laughs> you can mention the name of christ 10 times in a sermon but you have not preached about christ no you haven't Preaching Christ is giving us information which creates the Christ mindset in us. So I'm saying Africa needs the Christ mindset. When we have the Christ mindset, we don't borrow from them. 
Africa will be free. We'll do our own thing. Africa it's a mindset free. that we need to carry. That's why Christ came with the good news. Mm -hmm. To give it to Africans. Yes. I've been sent. Remember the person who told us mm -hmm. what Joseph did in Egypt is not an Egyptian. Mm -hmm. It's a fellow Israelite. Yes. Which means if Moses, Moses did not write down, we're, we're never going to hear about yeah, Joseph. That's, oh, that's which means there's need for an African to stand up and tell us yes. what the black man can do. I'm telling you right now, a black man can change this world. You know, you know. We